welcome everybody to another series of Banished with me, Vapor, and welcome to Lake Dulcet. So if we have a quick look at the map, while these guys are busy working, here is our lake. And I'm aware there's other ones, but this one's huge, and I'm quite happy with the size of that. Um, the general plan is, actually I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with that, I have something in mind. Now, for those of you that watch me, you know that I like to play the game from a very kind of aesthetic point of view, but I've tried to challenge myself a little bit this time. I never usually plan a map that has snow. <laughs> so we have a fair start, so that means we will get snow and, and, and rain a lot more. Usually I play in a Mediterranean style um, climate, which means the weather is, is usually very good and nothing ever dies. So yeah, that's that's going to be different for me, let's say. Uh, it's a medium map, we're using lake waters, and it is a CC medium plus start, basically just so we get the cows. And hopefully, let's, let me prioritise that while we're talking about that. Here we are. So yeah, so we're going to kind of do the same sort of thing I usually do. God, we've got all sorts of things running out. <laughs> it's probably a bad time to talk, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so we're going to carry on with the, like, the decoration theme, but the difference is this time, I'm going to start it from the very beginning. Let me slow this down just a touch. There we go. Usually I kind of get my starting bits going on and then I'll kind of move off into another area because I can't be bothered to move them, but I'm actually going to start straight away with like, the decoration, so I'm going to lay things out where I want them. Now these were already placed, so there's nothing I can do about that um, right now, unfortunately. But I'll probably move them in due course. So literally everything I'm putting in is 95% going to stay. I might move the farm at some point. I'm not too sure yet, but like the forester node, the gatherer, that's going to stay. There's a few other buildings we need to put in um, to kind of ensure survival. Is the fisherman in? Yes. Or almost. And they've got their home as well. So there's a couple of people without homes. I'm getting a really shoddy frame rate for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, anyway, we're using the um, the Mega Mod. So, for those of you that are watching the co-op series between me, Noble Rambler, and Night Ghost Forty Nine, uh, you'll know that we're actually using the Mega Mod um, in that series. And also, Night Ghost is doing his own series. And recently, Noble Rambler, I would say quite painstakingly, recreated his town of Noble Landing um, in uh, the Mega Mod, so he could actually use it. So you kind of get all of us kind of working together on the co-op series using the Mega Mod, and then you've just kind of got us doing our own thing in our own series. But I recently just decided to stop doing um, the series that, um, that was based in the desert. I was getting tired of it. So it's nice to see some some green, but we've got so many things to kind of play with now. It, it looks practically the same here because uh, Kralyog from the uh, Colonial Charter team has put this uh, mega mod together it's not stuff that is completely made by him or uh, colonial charter team it is other modders as well so they've all got different colors so anything that's clear is colonial charter anything that's red is red ketchup i'm not sure on all the other co uh, colors as to what they are uh, there is a list um, i will direct you to one of noble rambler's videos because he goes through and explains um all the different colours are and what mod that relates to and which modder made them etc. Um, he does that far better than me so I'll direct you to that. Um, I will print a copy out for myself <laughs> so when I am doing this I can kind of say who you know who it's from and that but once the mega mod comes out in a sense I guess it doesn't matter where it comes from because if we kind of go into here so you can see all the different mods I can delete all these now because well, they're all in here. Uh, and it's 65, and I've clearly not got 65 mods. So it's going to make things so much easier. Right, anyway, enough wittering. I need to kind of get some of these things fixed. But I think first off is we will harvest a couple of trees. And we're a little bit short of stone as well, so we'll do that. Excellent. Right, let's speed it back up. There we go. My frame rate seems to have stabilised now. Anyway, that's a good thing. I don't know what was wrong with it. I think probably my computer doing something in the background. 
Maybe it's trying to hint. <laughs> Get off your computer. Too late, you should be in bed. Right, this is going to be built, so we'll chuck some in there straight away because that's very important. Um, the reason that we've chose the dock fishery is just simply because it produces ridiculous amounts of fish. As long as you put nothing within its kind of area of influence, so if we click it and zoom out, there we go, we can see it now. So as long as that's as empty as possible, so it's just pure ocean, this is going to keep us going for, for quite a while. And as we need it, we can add more people into it. So that's my logic behind that. Um, their home, which is going to need a path to it. Let's do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And that's this one. I think the door is there. Well, at least I hope it is. Actually, you only do one there, don't we? There we go. Yeah, so having their home... And it might not be used by them, but initially it will because there's no other buildings. But having that as close as possible is important, as is having somewhere for them to take the fish, as you see. He's walking up and down there um, to drop his wares off. I don't know where he's gone now, but that's really important. Okay, moving on. Well, we've also got our... It's not built yet, but we've got our woodcutter. So the reason I'm using this one is... This is the old faithful. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, there is different ones we can use. Uh, there's the chopper and there's various ones, actually. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so we've got the chopper, which is colonial charter. We've got a mini woodcutter. There's just so many different ones. But I'm going to be keeping this building. So we may as well stick with it and that's where it's going to stay as well so I'm quite happy that same goes with the um, Forester Lodge and the Gatherer's Hut I'm just so used to using them they do exactly what I need them to do and they're in a the position they need to be in um, we do need to remove the iron and the stone from here because this is probably not going to be as efficient as it should be so is this built as well let's chuck the beef cows in here there we go so, because we've got the beef cows to start with, we have a pasture. So, that kind of speaks for itself. So, basically, we've got everything we need. We're missing two key things. Something that makes clothes and something that makes tools. Now, this is where I am going to go slightly different. Uh, da, 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 da. So, usually I'd probably build a tailor. But I'm looking... Oh, the workshop is quite useful. So we could go with that, but... I'm going to use, where is it? I've seen it already, and now I've lost it. Do, do, do. Blacksmith, small town blacksmith. So we will use this initially because I'm going to remove it later on. And we'll kind of have like a, a dirty industry area. So that'll go where the resources are that it needs because it just makes it just makes sense. Why have it here when the mines are like far away and things like that? So. We're going to do that, and the tailor, we're going to use the same thing, small town tailor, and the same goes for, what am I missing? There is another building, it will it will come to my mind eventually, hunter, there we go, told you it'd come. I do believe there is a small town hunter as well, or a mini hunter. There we are. It doesn't matter where you put these ones. Um, you can put it in the middle of your town. It will always uh, naturally gather. I used to think it had to be in the forest and things. But apparently not. It seems to work anywhere. So we will use that. Excellent. That's done. So we're at the point of almost being kind of self-sufficient. We're into our first winter. And we've not died yet. That's always a good start, isn't it? Okay, let's put a little road in here. Like so. Oh, look at that. They mirror each other. <laughs> okay, is this in? So we'll put someone in there. He needs a stockpile as well. But again, we'll use the clear ones just because I don't like the dirty kind of ground you get underneath them. Uh, which one's fuel? That's this one. 
Um, we will put that here. Do a 5x5. Five five. Excellent. So, when he gets to a point of... Oh, right, he's got eight cows in there now. He's going to start slaughtering their cows. I say he. Who's our farmer? There we go. Uh, Sham. So, when uh, Sham kills the cows, he will put everything in here. So, there's no point me really panicking about, about kind of giving him like a meat lock or anything like that. Plus, um, he's also going to generate leather. So, that will help when it comes to making clothes. Let's have a look. Tools. We'll probably make the rough tools for now. So, log and iron ore. And clothes. Hmm. We will get feathers. But not just yet, so... Because, where's our hunter? Here he is. So the hunter will get feathers from the uh, from the ducks and things that they capture. So we'll just kind of play it by ear. Hopefully we're going to get enough leather from here to kind of keep things ticking over to start off with. Uh, another little tip, and this is something I'm trying to be conscious of, is I really do want to offer more advice and actually explain things a little bit better. If you watch people walking along here, when they get to these corners, like if it wants to go in here, there you go, you saw that, they drop down. But if you come into the dock section, you've got this stay dry corner piece. So if you rotate it in, place it there, then again, what you'll find is, and we'll put them in these corners as well, it stops them from falling in. Hence the name, stay dry. <laughs> Is he going to go in there? Oh, no. Come on, somebody do it. There we go. Perfect. So that's that fixes that problem. So there, there's my first tip. So if you didn't know that, brilliant. If you did, never mind. Hopefully there's something else that I'll show you. Okay. So we need to think about houses, really. So I'm going to build the town landing. Mm -hmm. I think it's that one. Oh, sorry, town arrival. I'm thinking of Noble Landing, aren't I? Uh, we'll place that here. Just so it gives us the stats, because I'm going to be a little bit more conscious of um, like family to house ratio as well. Because I'm not very good at that. And I'm sure a few people will probably tell you that anyway. So we're going to build our first set of houses in here. Uh, we're going to use these ones. Uh, the small row houses. So we've got come in we've got thatch roof and we've got shingles I'm probably going to use the shingles and then we'll do kind of a, a row of them on the outside of the single floor and then in the inside we'll we'll do a double one and that's kind of the plan for that and because there's going to be a lot of things going on around here I don't mind having a concentrated amount of houses um, you bear in mind we've got the pasture here we've got the fisherman here and I will put a smoker in here at some point as well uh, that's not Martha, <laughs> and we got they should be okay. But even still, to walk from here to there will be fine. And then we're gonna have things going on here, so it should work out quite well from an efficient point of view. And I don't always play the most efficient games. Right, I'm just thinking, how what are we doing here? Right, logs are not doing too bad. Food is. Kind of being a bit of a problem. What's going on in here? Flax. Well, that's new. Never knew you could get flax from gathering. But then again, this... If I'm right in thinking, I remember talking to Kralyug a while ago, and I think it only shows four, maybe five things. And he did say that they did consider about adding more to it, so you could see more. And I think that's what that is. Maybe it always got flax. I don't know. That's um that's quite interesting. I'm not too sure why we're struggling for food. Hmm. We got four hundred beef, so we could probably do with a butcher. We got a little bit of leather there. Which is cool. Oh, do you know what I just realized we've not checked. And now we have a, this town landing, we can check. What seeds did we get? Oats and chestnut. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so four homes, 12 families, we definitely need to consider building a few more houses. The food is bothering me a little bit. I don't quite get why that's 
playing around so much. Well, let's drop the builders down to one. Let's chuck an extra person in there and an extra one in here. I'm producing a lot of fish at the moment. It's unusual. Okay. Let's get some houses in. Let's stop wittering on. Uh, we're going to go with the these ones. Yes. I'm going to leave a tiny bit of space though. Actually, let's think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And we'll let that build. Okay, what are these? We've got different corner houses. Excellent. Corner. Logs is low. Yep. We know. Open, I've put that in the right place. What else is low? Stone is low. Food is low. Everything is low. Um, let's let's do this one. That's going to keep them quite busy. That will collect some of the stone, and we will take some of these trees from here because I don't want to kind of interfere with the trees that are in there. We might need an extra builder actually. Hopefully that will sort that problem out. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little bit of an insight into what I'm gonna do as soon as we've got these lovely big maps. Okay. So this is the plan. And if I don't stick to it, tell me off. Because I have a thing for procrastinating. As much as I have OCD, <laughs> I do like to procrastinate, put things off. So this is gonna be our old town. Up here, I'm thinking of the main town itself. Um, because of the way this river runs this is going to have to be a bulk of our trade in here because I'm not too sure what would happen if I put a trader here, I don't know if it would come through the land or whether it would try and go up that river not sure, so I don't think we're going to mess with that but we're going to have a lot of industry here so this will be like the main harbour I think probably some mines here this is probably literally going to be fishing and a bit of farming uh, I'm not going to go overkill with farming, but we'll just see how we go with food. I might just have to trade for it. I don't know yet. Um, I am trying to play this as honestly as possible. In the previous series, I think I was using the 50% less food requirement mod, just so I could focus on actual decoration and not have to worry about food. In this one, it, it is what it is. So if I run out of food, I will. So I've, I've got to be a little bit more on my toes with that. But this lake, Lake Dulcet, I'm thinking of building a castle in the middle of the lake which means I'm gonna to have to raise the land a little bit but we've got a couple of options we've got the old castle which most people are familiar with we have got in here somewhere this fantasy looking castle which I could probably put in the middle of the castle but we have somewhere I think it's a red ketchup thing let me there it is we have like full-on castle walls <laughs> <laughs> and bridges to get to the castle um, oh my god draw bridges they, there's everything so we'll probably build some kind of castle I, it's not a huge lake so I've got to be very careful how I do it I mean we could have the walls coming out of here and have the actual castle in this corner with like a bridge going out to it I don't know yet any suggestions on that will be uh greatly appreciated but we've also got the trains as well which we can use so there's like so many different things that definitely keep us busy okay food is still a little bit weird i'm not too sure maybe it's just me not being used to it and i've got people with no homes what is going on why is there homeless people people generally don't leave a house Unless there's a home, or a home has been destroyed. That's a little bit, a little bit odd. Okay, let's do the right one. That's one of those ones, and one of those ones. Hopefully that helps. What have we got in here? Excellent, excellent. I'm looking at ages. Okay, because we don't, and we don't, we don't want anyone living alone. For a start, and then if, when there's people like this person, they can move out because they're old enough. Same here, so we can definitely have a few more houses, but the food is a little bit bizarre. What's going on? 
107. This should be thousands, and it probably would be if I upped it. You know what? Let's bite the bullet. Let's go for it. This is working quite well. And this is obviously going to work a lot better once the stone and things are gone. As you can see, they're picking up things that we don't really need them to. But we'll let the workers do what they need to do. But I am I'm liking these houses. I think we need to put in... Where is it? I'm assuming there is one. Okay, so we got an end piece. We got that. Okay. And the corner piece. Corner row house. Outside. Inside. Ah, okay. Excellent. I see. Well, I was hoping for one of these. But there isn't one. So we're going to have to kind of end the corner like that. I think somewhere like that would be perfect. So if we... We'll use that one. And we will put in that one there. And then we can have like a, a double road going through, I reckon. That will draw that in now, so I don't forget. Because it's likely to happen. If we do that... We're short of locks. <laughs> in fact, we should pause these. Because really, we probably only need a couple more houses. Yep. Yeah, hey, what's going on? So we've got some clubs coming in. Perfect. How's this guy doing? Venison, quite a lot. Do you know what? We could probably do some butchers. I just realised something. Bear with me a second. Um, another options. Aha. There we go. I wondered why I couldn't see those things. So what have we done? Tools. That's fine. We're not going to overproduce. We haven't got the space yet. But I'm hoping this place starts to really kick out the food. It's a little bit odd. But we're not getting as much as we should. But we are producing a lot. I see there's, there's tons of food in here. We're in year two. Let's have a quick look at the information. Food. Used and produced. Damn. I'm seriously not used to it. <laughs> Right, do you know what? I think this is a good spot to leave our episode right in the middle of winter. Um, I think this has got a lot of potential. It's nice to be out of the desert. It's nice to have some green and some, some lakes and be able to do some of the stuff that I've not been able to do for a while. Like, actually <laughs> build some key walls and have some proper harbours and things like that. And also the fact that we've got snow. Again, like I've said, I'm not used to having snow because I don't usually play on that climate. So... This is very refreshing, um, and I think, yeah, we're going to take this far with your help. Don't let me go off on a tangent, keep me on track. If there's any suggestions you have, anything um, that you think will help, please let me know in the comments. Um, I always try to reply to everyone where I can. But, until next time, as always, take care.